Hey everybody, welcome back. <clears throat> this is another guitar. I know I said I was slowing down, but one more off the truck. Um, and the reason it's still in the box and we're doing the unboxing is because this is another Amazon warehouse purchase. And I uh, want to see how accurate the description of the Amazon warehouse is to what's inside this box. So it's a like new product, which is supposed to be just like that. Ships in the original box. Box is not damaged, although this is the original box. I'm going to give it away so you can see what's in it. Um, but it doesn't look like the box is in too good a shape. So hopefully, fingers crossed, the guitar is. So let's see what's inside here. And uh, I'll spare you of too much pain. We'll open this thing up as quickly as possible. Um, let's see here. This is really... He really did a job on the boxing of this thing. It, it looks like it was packaged by a 12-year-old. Um, and really poorly boxed. So I don't know what condition this guitar is going to be in. I'm hoping it's good, but we'll see. So, comes with this, put this down, pull this out, box is really trashed. Um, okay, so the guitar is in a case, you can see, it says orange wood on it, so I'm assuming it's an orange wood guitar in here. Um, we will see. Like new description. Okay, we got uh, the orange wood warranty and whatever in there. Um, take the case off, the gig bag off. Let's see how the guitar looks. Here is the. Uh, let me see this here, if we can make this a little bit better. Okay. Here's the guitar. So you can see it's the Ray, R-E-Y, Orange Wood Ray. All laminate, single cutaway acoustic guitar. Um, right out of the box, frets on here are horrible. Uh, so really, really bad fret sprout. Very sharp fret ends. Um, again, if I had the uh, Phil McKnight stocking test, this would fail. Um, I'm cutting my hand bad by doing this, <laughs> sliding it up and down. Yeah, really, really bad frets. Um, but other than that, the guitar does look, you know, in good shape. I would qualify it as, as like new. Um, and, you know... With any import guitar, right, acoustic, electric, whatever it might be, um, you're going to get, I'll move over here, you're going to get varying degrees of fret sprout in a lot of cases because they ship from overseas, they're in different, you know, climates and humidity uh, environments, humid, uh, humidity environments, yeah, that's the right word. So, you know, I understand that. Uh, you know, I'm not expecting this thing to be perfect, but... You know, for the most part, it looks like it's in decent shape. Um, I will have another video where we play it so you can hear what the thing sounds like. But I just, this is a first impression, first unboxing of Microsoft, of Microsoft, of Amazon Warehouse. And if you can rely on what their descriptions are. And it did say like new, and I would say it is like new, um, with the exception of having sharp fret ends. But even new guitars that you buy come with sharp fret ends. So... Okay, that's fine. Um, I'm going to put this down. Uh, 
in addition to the guitar, it does come with the gig bag. And the gig bag is great, by the way. Really nice um, orange wood padded gig bag, not a dust cover. This is a good, probably $35, $40 gig bag that comes with the guitar. I got a great deal, okay? This was $89 plus tax free shipping on Amazon Warehouse. These go for $140 if you could find them. If you go to Orangewood right now and you look for the Ray Spruce, which is what that is, can't find them. They're not around. They're out of stock. They're always out of stock. This showed up on Amazon Warehouse, got a really good deal. So again, guys, check Amazon Warehouse regularly. Every now and then, you get something that's a fantastic value, and I'm hoping that this is. And it, from all, for all intents and purposes, it looks like it is. There are no electronics on it. I don't really see what could be possibly wrong with it. But I'll have my next video where I'll, I'll run through it and tell you what my thoughts are about the, the guitar itself. Um, it also kind of came with this box, which is like a, an extra throw-in from Orangewood. And we'll see what's in it. Oh, okay. It's interesting. So you've got your uh, Orangewood, uh, looks like some sort of a chamois or cloth, cleaning cloth. Yeah, comes with an orange wood branded string uh, tuner, uh, you know, the string winder, and uh, some picks with a pick case. It's a nice little touch. Uh, looks like there's a battery in here for something. Um, what's in here? Oh, that's what the battery's for. Comes with a tuner, which is nice. Um, Cheapo guitar strap. Finally, the obligatory capo, which is not a bad capo. Actually, some of these are really, really cheap type capos. This one actually seems like it's functional, which is not bad. So it came with this capo as well. So that's a nice, uh, a nice touch. Uh, ignore that, right? So guys, as always, hang on one second. Had to shut that off. I apologize. Um, yeah, so it came with the capo, string winder, cloth, which is useless. Again, the guitar strap and the tuner. All for $89 plus shipping for this Orangewood. And Orangewood are decent guitars. I've had them in the past. So uh, that was a good deal. That one on the warehouse looks like a good deal. And again, I will confirm it on my next video when I strum through it a bit and give you my impression of the guitar. But, um, yeah, I mean, every now and then you get lucky on Amazon Warehouse, and I think I did. So, guys, if you find these videos helpful to you and useful to you, please subscribe. Um, fire any questions that you have on the guitar or the buying experience below. I'll do my best to answer them. And as always, guys, until the next time, be well and stay safe. Take care.